Dr. Jules Marmont sprinted down the corridor. His lab coat fluttered after him. Red lights flashed on the walls. Sirens screamed. Marmont couldn't stop smiling. It was his experiment that had triggered the alarms. In his world, alarms meant progress. This could be the breakthrough he had been waiting for. He would be the one to get his name in the annals of FBC history. Not his wife, Diana. Not darling, that smirking asshole. At the far end of the corridor, the lights suddenly blinked out. The red lights went dark with increasing speed. A wall of darkness rushing toward him. The alarms warbled and died. Marmont stopped in his tracks. He admired the purity of the darkness as it swallowed him. A final spark of pride flashed through his mind. This was his work, his breakthrough. Anderson, over here. Behind the counter. Got a little cramped in that closet. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a Bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. What's going on? Well, I had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the Cult of the Tree. Don't let your guard down. Wish me luck. According to the Luck and Probability Department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. <laughs>